Okay, let's get started. Hi, I'm Bill. And in this video, I'm just going to show you where I'm at with getting my RedCat 51 ready to go into a remote observatory. I've got more work to do. Uh, but um, I thought I'd share an update on where I'm at and uh, this is going to be a really rough uh, edit uh, video and that's just the way it goes sometimes so uh, here I am uh, I've got my Red Cat 51 uh, out in the backyard uh, it's supposed to be clear tonight so I'm gonna try and just see what it looks like um, if I can pick up some stars and stuff um, so uh, what you see here is the, the main thing is I'll put a picture on a screen but I was using a mini computer for my Red Cat and what I've done is I've taken the uh, the Eagle 5S the Primalucci Lab Eagle 5S that I was running on my on my Edge HD 8 and I've put it on here and then the mini computer uh, and the Wanderer Box Pro V3, uh, which is the power distribution and USB hub, uh, along with my um, B Link SER5 mini computer, will go on the Edge HD8. So I was concerned, as you'll see from the picture that I'm going to put on the screen when I edit it, I had a lot of cables hanging down and everything with my Red Cat. And then it dawned on me, well, my Edge HD8 has a top rail. So I used to run the mini computer and the Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box Advance on the top rail of my Edge HD8. It works fine. So I just basically swapped swap things out. And what that has done is it's enabled me to uh, get a little bit better cable management. Now, uh, I'm using the cables that I have right now here. Um, and I will work to clean it up even more but really the only thing I'm I really have hanging down here is this cable that goes to the uh, AC adapter from Prima Lucci lab uh, that's designed for the uh, Eagle 5s and then uh, these cables are hanging down here a bit but I'll find shorter cables and clean that up a little bit and I've already been uh, slewing and, and nothing gets caught uh, with the way the cables are currently but I want to improve them even more now let's see if we can show this here so you know I got the AM5 mount uh, this is the AM5N and uh, it's got a power I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show it, but it's got a power uh, 12 volt power outlet there that I'm using uh, to power my rotator and then the way you connect I there's a USB uh, USB-C uh, to connection to my Eagle 5S which is a uh, Thunderbolt I guess connection or USB-C uh, connection there so uh, that's working out uh, pretty cool um, and then I kind of built up, I've got a uh, Vixen uh, rail on the bottom of the Eagle, and then I've got the Prima Lucci Lab uh, clamp uh, that's uh, fixtured to the top of the Eagle uh, 5S. And then I have another Vixen style uh, um, dovetail. Uh, that my uh, Red Cat 51 uh, is mounted to so um, that all worked out pretty good and I got enough clearance over here with my um, 
with my rotator uh, so I've got clearance uh, down here uh, the rotator should stay in this position all the time and then what's going to rotate is my uh, new filter wheel and that has 31 millimeter uh, the correction 36 millimeter unmounted uh, filters in there that I installed uh, this morning and then here if we can get a shot at it here is my new uh, AS uh, 2600 mm pro uh, camera uh, that I installed in uh, place of the ASI 294 mm pro and again, with this uh, camera, I'm, I've eliminated, by swapping out the 294, uh, by, swapping out, by swapping out the ASI 294 MM Pro, um, I no longer have a need to take uh, flat darks. And that was going to be the challenge for me. Uh, you know, I can generate dark file libraries. I can take bias file, have that in a library and I can even build a flats library or flats are going to be easy to do once I get my uh, Deep Sky Dad flat panel now <laughs> their delivery times are four to five weeks so I'm not going to have that for a while so um, but I'll um, I'll deal with that so these things probably will not be going into the remote observatory until late December early January I would imagine but um, this is uh, what it looks like right now. Um, I do have to work with the uh, Eagle. Um, and what I need to do is I need to go into the bias and I need to be able to set that to auto boot on power loss. So that way this will boot up once it detects power and um, that'll work out just well, uh, fine. Um, I already set that up with my B-Link SER5 uh, mini computer. So again, uh, remotely, uh, I'll have a little power switch that I can uh, essentially uh, connect to and that will turn on the AC uh, power to the power cord that goes into uh, the uh, B-Link or the Eagle uh, 5S and then each of those devices when they detect the power they'll boot themselves up so there'll be no manual uh, intervention in it so um, so that's it that's the rig that's what it looks like you'll see the picture on the screen when I edit that uh, what it was looking like the red cat and again I'll just have to uh, continue to clean this up get some maybe custom cables of the right length uh, so it looks a little, uh, a little bit nicer and, uh, and easier to deal with. So, um, and then the Deep Sky Dad, uh, flap panel will, uh, attach to here and then it will open and close, uh, the flap panel so that I can take my, uh, flight, uh, flats as, uh, need be. So, all right, just wanted to do a quick one here. So if you like this kind of content, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Um, next is to get my Edge HD, uh, the Wander Powerbox uh, Pro V3, and the uh, B-Link mini computer uh, secured to the top rail. I'm just going to use Velcro like I did before. And then I'll work through uh, getting my cable runs and everything correct. Uh, on that as well so it's nice and cleaned up and uh, if you've been watching my videos I also ordered a Deep Sky Dad what he calls flap uh, panel which is essentially a uh, a movable uh, flap panel that will open and close uh, so that I can uh, open it when I'm uh, doing imaging and then I can close it uh, when I'm done and then when closed position I'll be able to take my uh, necessary flats uh, so all right other than that clear skies